Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. So right behind me, uh, David Dunn, former Blackburn player, is putting these young lads through the paces. And we're here at Whitley Park and we're going to be watching Newcastle hopefully beat Blackburn who are doing well in the Premier League too. Look who it is, yeah, it's him again. <laughs> back from work or the game, eh? Under 23. It's like I've seen you. <laughs> seen loads of Sharky this week, so we've arrived and uh, lads are just uh, going for the paces at the far end of the pitch there. Still quite early, still about 20 minutes to kick off. So the team sheet is in, we're obviously looking forward to seeing uh, Rolanda Aaron's play tonight. It's also Jack Holback who's involved, Jamie Sterry, Freddie Woman, but for me it's all about Rolanda Aaron's. He needs to again impress. Uh, and now it's Rafa Benitez, as Peter Biazzi, so I think he can send his reports on to Rafa. I think he needs to get into this first team, and this is an opportunity for him to now go and press. I know it's not the Premier League, but still the opportunity is there. So there goes Callback, Woodman, Herdman. Aaron's to take the corner. Go on, Aaron's lad. Oh, he's beat him. Oh, he's done well there, mind. Call back. Ah, poor. Callum Smith's just cannon one off the bar. I've missed it because I was trying to get a photo of Orlando. But it's the best chance that Newcastle have had so far. Go on, Orlando. Oh, he's kept it in. Go on, Riz. Oh, he's done him. Can he beat the keeper? And the keeper's got to him. There's a brilliant ball for Orlando Aaron's. Oh, it's just wide from Orlando. Oh. So the woman with the camera is Serena Taylor. Hi, Serena. She follows us on Twitter. Uh, she's always at the home games and away games, follows the club and the under-23s everywhere. So Blackburn have scored against the runner play. Cross was deflected. It looked like it was it was either Cameron or Gillespie at the end of the ground. And it's looped over Freddie Woodman in the corner. And Blackburn against the runner play have scored. Didn't deserve that. Like So the second half is just about to kick off. And we have changed location. We're behind the goal because Newcastle are shooting this way. So hopefully, get plenty of action for you. Oh, bad touch by Aaron's. Ooh, Connor. It's beating Connor. Oh, it's just wide from Blackburn. Ooh. He's off. That's a crudger. Oh, he's giving him a yellow. I thought for a moment there he was off there. Yellow card. Call back to Aaron's. Can he keep this in? Call back. Squares it now to Barlaza. Plays in Jack Callback. Ah, it's a heavy touch from Callback. Frustrated. Aaron shoots. Just over. Blackburn have just scored a great counter attack and goal. It's 2 0. Game over. Corner to Newcastle. Ball is out with it. It's up. Keeper comes for it and he's claimed. Where was the. Who's on the keeper there? Hit it. He has Heaney. For the curler. Oh, he's unlucky. So I'm joined by Sharky again there, so Newcastle finished off uh, losers 2-0 with a high-flying Blackburn. You know Blackburn were third at the start of the night, they probably moved up. Newcastle's chances of hitting the playoffs have suffered another blow on Peter Biazzi as well. I mean, describe tonight, what would you... lacklustre? Yeah, very lacklustre. Uh, we were great for the first half. The 20 minutes, brilliant. Then obviously the minute Blackburn got that, you know, that lucky goal, you know, when it looped off the, the centre-back and went past uh, Freddie Woman, 1-0, Blackburn pretty much kept the ball It's going to run play that though, wasn't it? Yeah, they pretty much shattered the confidence of Newcastle because the minute the away side take the lead, they're just going to sit back. You know, even if they do sit back, they will keep the ball more than us, and we, we are going to have to try and chase them. But I just felt we well, lacked in that final third, and the, you know the, the the passing as well was astray. You know the the shape wasn't there. I feel in, in that second half as well, we should have changed the formation. If you know 
just try something different and maybe you just never know if you get that 1-1 one, one, you it could all be different but then Blackburn obviously went up the pitch and made it 2-0 didn't they yeah he did I mean when Blackburn scored their first goal you could see the confidence that they were having they were passing it around in Newcastle yeah, yeah they, throughout the game they had bright sparks uh, in particular they were trying to go down that right flank with Sterry and Rolanda Aarons there's a few bright sparks there um, talking to Rolanda Aarons can he get in that first team just in that performance he was okay. His decision making could have been a little bit better. That's what let him down. Again, you look at the forwards as well. You know they were rather isolated, quiet, and he's just gonna have to keep doing what he's doing. But he's just gonna have to be better on his decision making. If he gets out, gets out right, then you just never know. But on tonight's performance, it's gonna be very hard at the moment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, just on that. I mean, yes, there was spells where he was beating his man up, but he's got to do a lot more. Jack Holbach was in there. Um, he didn't have a greatest game either. And you look at a Freddie Woman, he probably needs another loan spell out because he, he can't be playing this kind of football. He needs to be better than that. And Jamie Starry probably maybe needs another loan out, but Newcastle suffer for another defeat. And that's been it. I hope you like the vlog. I'll see you all later. Yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> bye. So if you want to see more Newcastle content, click on one of the boxes which you can see on your screen. But a disappointing night overall for the under 23s. Rolanda Aarons looked bright in sparks, but Newcastle's under 23s are suffering a few defeats in a row now. How do we go around changing this? We'd love to know what you think in your comments section.